All right, awesome. It looks as though we are live on Facebook in the group. Hey, Justin. Good afternoon. Yep, we are live. We are live. We are live. Fantastic. Good afternoon, everyone. It seems as though we have not been together in a minute. What's up, Justin? Miss you guys. Um, so I just wanted to come on for a second. Um, I know everyone is probably in the group looking for the video. So we'll give you guys a little bit of time um, to join us and let me know who is under the sound of my voice. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. You guys have a long weekend ahead of you. So, um, hey, Sherry. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So, listen. Hey, Jazz. All right, good. So, you guys can see me and you can hear me loud and clear. Um, I know that with, you know, with this platform, there's a tad bit of a delay. Okay. All right. So good, 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 good. Jasmine, you can see me now. Awesome. All right. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. I have a guest that's coming on shortly. Hopefully she can join before you guys are out of here. So um, first and foremost, I want to congratulate each of you that took the opportunity to participate in the webinar challenge. And I have received such, um, I mean, overwhelming feedback on the challenge itself about how it really helped you guys like gain clarity around where you need to start in regards of doing your webinars. So, you know, I am just, I'm so glad that you were able to walk away with so much information from a free platform. Like it's absolutely, you know, it, it warms my heart to know that I was able to help you, right? Like really help you guys get clarity around hosting your first or your upcoming webinar, your first webinar where you have clarity, right? So congratulations. So give it up for yourselves. You can use a clap emoji and all of that, right? You should be excited. You should be, you should be proud of yourself. Um, but I will say this. So congratulations to those of you all that decided you made the decision to make the investment in yourself and in your business. Um, some of you, no brainer, you knew that this was an opportunity for you, okay? And you decided that it was time to implement in your business. You didn't want to wait any longer. Now, I understand that there are some people that are still on the fence, even at this hour. And trust and believe, I get it. I've been there. Um, there are... There have been opportunities that were presented to me and I wasn't sure whether or not I was ready. I wasn't sure of whether or not that I would be able to commit because when you invest, and the word is invest, when you invest, it is a conscious decision. It's a conscious decision that you are now, put, you're forcing yourself to do better, to know better and to be better, right? So you're forcing yourself to learn a new skill, to work with someone so that you can grow your business, so that you can be held accountable. That's what an investment is all about, okay? And so investing takes commitment and dedication. I'll say that again. Investing takes commitment and dedication. All right. And so some will say, I don't have the money. And, and that's fine. 
because there were times when opportunities were presented to me and I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money. I barely had enough money to pay my bills. And that's fine. And that's fine because I've been there. And I, I listen, I get it. There were times where I didn't have the money to participate and make the investment and opportunities that were presented to me. And I really, really, really wanted to participate. And let me tell you, that was the last time that I ever allowed myself to be in that predicament. Can I say that? That was the last time that I ever, ever allowed myself to be in that position. So for those of you all that may be in the position where, you know, you your money is funny, right? Your change is strange. So I say to you, I say to you, what knowledge do you have right now where you can pick up the phone and you can offer someone the opportunity to work with you? so that you can generate immediate cash flow in your business, right? Um, and here's the thing, if you can do that, you can host your first webinar where you don't have to pick up the phone and call one by one. They'll come into your circle. Can I get an amen? <laughs> they will actually come into your circle and you'll be able to build a list of people that are genuinely interested and working with you. And I'm super excited because um, one of my students, Crystal, Crystal Cunningham, I was telling you guys about Crystal Cunningham and Crystal, Crystal joined the program over the summer and Crystal was going live on her Facebook page and a Facebook group. And Crystal had not generated any revenue using the tools that she already had. And so someone under the sound of my breath or under the sound of my voice, you're not generating the revenue with the current tools that you have. Right now, you're going live. Some of you are even ha hosting webinars. Some of you go live in your groups and you're not making money. So Crystal decided and she made the investment. She took the leap of faith and she made the investment to join WSB, Webinar Success Blueprint. And it was so funny because I think we were in week two, maybe week three, right? We were in week two, maybe week three. And Crystal was the first person that went out and said, you know what, you know what? And this is that she, she said, you know what? I'm going live. I'm going to do my first webinar. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the first one to do a webinar. And... She did it. Regardless, uh, I think she signed up for Zoom. And this was before anyone had received any um, software or anything. So she used Zoom. And she wasn't really comfortable with Zoom, guys. So, so hear me out. She used Zoom. And in spite of the technical difficulties that she had with Zoom, she still closed eight people. She did not have an offer developed. She had an idea of what, how she wanted to work with them, right? But she did not have her core curriculum developed at all. And so, and I think she got knocked off once or twice, but she still kept going. And sometimes in business, guys, you got to keep going. And so at the end of her Zoom, at the end of her, her webinar, she closed eight people. And seven days later, we were on one of our Q&A calls in the group. And she says, Coach D, she said, I closed eight more people. She says, I closed eight more people. What? So she literally made her money back that she invested in the program within 30 days. That could be you. And so recently, within like the last 24 hours, she tells me, she says, she says guess what? You're not going to believe this. She said, I even extended the opportunity to for them to work with me one on one and they accept it so now she even up was able to upsell them into a program so it shows you it's not about whether or not this program is for you 
because the system works and it's proven that the system works, but are you willing to work the system? So it's not necessarily about whether or not you have the time because I ask you this question. If you don't have the time to invest in hosting webinars or learning how to monetize webinars, how do you find the time to market your business? How do you find the time to focus on revenue generating activities in your business? So let this be the last time that you say to yourself, I can't afford to do anything when it comes to your business. Because I remember that moment and how, how I felt in that moment. And I said, I never wanted to feel that again. I never wanted to feel that again. So I'm going to open it up. If you guys that are under the sound of my voice that have any questions, and I welcome you to ask any questions. And I look forward to working with all of you guys that have already registered. I'm super excited about the next group of WSB students. Um, some of you guys have had some questions about what's included. Um, so this is your opportunity. If you are on the fence, Crystal will be joining us shortly to share her story as well. But if you guys are on the fence, listen, um, do me a favor, go to www.thewebinarsuccessblueprint.com. Go ahead and save your seat. I think you have about maybe 10 more hours to join the program and then we'll be closing out the registration. But um, if you are watching the replay, do me a favor, tag myself or the Visions Consulting team, and someone from the team will answer your questions. I don't know if we're going to be available to midnight, but we'll try to be around to answer any questions for you. So I know that there's a little bit, I have some technicians coming to do some work on the house, so I think I hear them. But um, this is your opportunity to have some questions, and looks like Crystal is joining on, so hopefully she'll be on in just a second. But again, um, Man, I'm telling you, I'm excited. 2019, listen, this is your opportunity for more. For those of you guys that want more, this is your opportunity for more. This is your opportunity to build your list, right? This is your opportunity, awesome. This is your chance. This is your time, right, to build your list. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. And here is the famous Crystal Cunningham. Um, are you there? Mic check, mic check. Can you hear me? I can. Hello. I can't see you. Where's your video? You can't see me? Oh my gosh, how do I do that? Ah, <laughs> Let's Why see. did not I, wait, hold on. Something ain't right, cause y'all need to see my face. What did I do? Oh, there you go. Why you look sad? I'm, I'm, I'm I was just using the um. <laughs> you got your your background going. I don't know what's. The... Uh oh. I see you now. I see me too, but I don't want that one. Did you train? Did you do the green screen? Yeah, there you man. go. Now, awesome. I'm still upside down. There you go. Is it good? Yes, I can see you. Okay, but I need to put this down. But can you see? Am I upside down now? Uh uh. You nope. Okay. You just turned it back around now. <laughs> I, I did. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay just like this. Awesome. <laughs> hello, hello. All right. So, Crystal, listen. We've been talking about you all week in the group, and your such success that you've had. <laughs> oh my goodness! So I was just telling everyone. So I want them to hear it from you and from your mouth about when you made the decision to join um, WSB. And I was telling them, you were one of the first students to go out and you were like, look, I'm doing my webinar. I'm gonna <laughs> do my webinar. I'm gonna host my webinar. So hopefully you can get your, your camera to stay in steel for us. Yeah, hold on, just keep talking to Keisha. I'm sorry. <laughs> apologize no you are just fine i am excited um I, I love for them to hear success stories and i mean you haven't stopped like you are still enrolling people like still I, on. yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> she's it like true. Uh, she's, she's not telling the story actually she's telling the truth um 
let me just say this. I was really apprehensive about these webinars. I've been hearing about these webinars, webinars, webinars for a long time. And I was like, that is not going to work for me. I don't think that's going to work for me. Um, am I still alive? Yes, you? you are. Go ahead. Okay. I just didn't think it was going to work for me. It was, I just didn't believe it was going to work. But I happened to, you know, I met Takesha and she kept saying it, these webinars, these webinars. And I was like, all right, whatever. So one day I just said, okay, let me do it. Let me just opt in because I needed to take my business to another level. I was wanting to try, you know, I needed to have a system in place. And um, I said, okay, let me try. And really, to be honest with you, it was the best thing I could have did. And I'm, I'm just being really serious with you right now. I'm just being really honest with you for, for my business. It had to really help me go to another level. Fantastic. So, you know, your story is, uh, really unique because, um, you, you decided to step out and even with technical difficulties, and we see okay. that we see that a lot, a lot, right? Like um, right so now. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> like <laughs> right you this were moment. asking me. You were like, oh my God, Nikisha, I got kicked off. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um... Okay, so, you know, I go on and I, I got all of my, um, I have my presentation, I have my slides, and I just was having a hard time maneuvering because it was fairly new but I was really determined after uh we had finished off our last conference call and I was I said okay if I don't do it now I'm never going to really do it and sometimes you just kind of jump all in you really do have to just jump all in and just give it what you have at that moment um the system wasn't working properly I couldn't answer the question apologize you this people that's calling in so just bear with me. Um, so I'm doing this from my phone. But there was it, it was just a lot of things happening. Mm -hmm. And I got mm -hmm. frustrated. I really did. I was frustrated, but I kept it cool. You know, you gotta keep it cool. <laughs> um, and I was honest with my audience, though. That was another thing. I was honest with my audience. I Good. said I told them. And I believe that actually even helped a little bit more in my my message, you know delivering my coaching program, you know, and I was saying, cause I talk about confidence. So what a better way to actually show someone uh, at that moment that I was having technical difficulties, but I continued to push through uh, to provide them with the information. So it was really challenging that day, but um, I just, I did push through. It, it was a lot, you know, the system was fairly new for me that I was using, but I just remember Dakisha saying, you know, you just got to keep going. And um, I did have the people on, they was letting me know they wasn't going anywhere. I kept seeing in the comments, we're okay, just continue on. So that's why you have to be authentic with your audience. And that really helped me. Um, so I just, you know, of course you should know what it is that you're delivering because I knew my message and I knew what it was that I was providing to them. I was pretty much able to kind of just give them the gist of it. So we, it, it just worked out really well. I love it. And so at the end, um, you, you follow the process, you follow the blueprint and you invited them to work with you. And, and so tell me how, how that worked out for you. Cause I know you posted immediately after your webinar. <laughs> I did because I was so shocked. Like, first of all, I got 29 people to opt into uh, the webinar. But that night, 19 people actually showed up. So 29 people registered. Wow. people showed up that evening. And while I was having the conversation, and even before I got to, to say, make the offer, the one young lady, she was like, okay, I want in. Tell me what it is. Just, just, I want in. And that really helped me a lot. And, and guess what? Let me just say this to you. Because I was thinking about it the other day. I didn't even know her. So she was not someone that had been, you know, I've been nurturing for quite some time, but I had what she needed. I had exactly what she needed at that moment. Um, she, you know, she's seen me a couple of times, but she hadn't been with me for like six months, a year or anything. She had recently heard of me and started to uh, watch me maybe like a month or so, I think before she said, but otherwise than that. 
uh, she opted right in, like well, right before I was getting ready to start making the offer. She said, okay, I, I just want to know when you were going to do it, how much it's going to cost, and just tell me that because I can already see that you're someone that I wanted to work with just, just alone, just this evening by what you presented right there. And I want you to stop right there because you make a very, very valid point because uh, one of our conversations uh, previously was you were going live, like you were consistently going yeah. live. So when yeah. you actually created the opt-in, now you started to build your list. So you had 29 people that were added to your list yeah. and 19 actually showed. So that's amazing. And that shows you that, you know, that there's an audience waiting for you. And I love that. I love that you brought that up. And then even the fact that you, you stayed strong and you recognize how your audience and your tribe loved on you in your moment of need. Yes. And so sometimes we get nervous because we are, there's fear of us messing up, but we don't even realize that when our tribe is for us, they will stand by us through it all. So I love that you, I love that you mentioned that. All right. So how many people signed up that night? Cause you hadn't even finished your presentation <laughs> and they already said, look, I want to work with you. I don't know what you're offering. I don't know how much it is, but I want to work with you. So from listening to the Keisha, um, I got one person, you know, during the actual broadcast, and I was like, okay, I guess one out of 19 is pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm going to be okay with it. Uh, but by the time I finished everything, you know, by the time I wrapped everything up, you know, closed down and took a deep breath, I had two more people opt in. So that evening I had three people, I believe it was, that actually opted in. The next morning I started to get more people because it is true, we do need to nurture them. What I like about the webinars is what, like what you're, you know, the thing you taught us, Takesha, and I really saw that is that, yeah, I come on and I do a lot of Facebook lives, but we want to bring them into a space where they're knowing that we're having a, a specific a dialogue about this specific thing. And we know that we are trying to connect with them to, you know, service them and so forth. So from there, it, it just really, it really helped so much that now I can push my audience because I do have a large following. I've been doing this for a while, but never was able to bring them into a space virtually to where I can start having my, you know, do my teaching. I love to teach uh, various things and for them to opt into it. So it's like, I'm talking to all of these people, but I, I'm, I want to hit a target person, a target per just want that one person. So that really helped me. Um, overall, after everything was said and done, I think that next day I had six. I had six people, I believe it was six. Then I had about another three or four weeks left remaining before my program was getting ready to start. And the total, I had 16 women to sign up. Wow. Look at you. Congratulations. Yeah. That is yeah. phenomenal. It was really, phenomenal. really The webinars really have helped. Um, uh, we talked about it, you know, just the more you do it, the more you'll get comfortable with it. Uh, let me just say this too. While I was actually doing the webinar and I was having all of my little technical challenges there, they, what I, what we're seeing on our screen, I thought that they can see what I was, that I was seeing the the, the whole situation, but they couldn't, but I remained calm. And that's what they said that they, so they was like, we don't really know what you're talking about, but being you're telling us this, okay, we can see it a little, you're having a little bit challenge, but we don't really know what it is. And the webinars to me now, what I discovered helped hide some of those things. I don't know if that, I, and which I'm, I'm, I like that, you know, it's like, okay, you know, um, they don't get to see everything. But you, like you were saying, because they're our tribe, they will support you. But it, it's just all how we present ourselves. And I, I, for me, I like authentic. I like you to be transparent and say, you know, I'm having this because then we'll know how to handle it. We'll know how to get through it. I love it. I love it. And so just recently, um, you shared that you also extended a one-on-one coaching program 
um, to one of your registrants. <laughs> Look at you. I'm like, she is just taking the system and just making it work for her. Yeah. So again, congratulations. Now, how did you position that? Well, um, my program was supposed to be, it was four week or five week. What I did for my participants, I wanted to give them a little bit more. And one thing you do talk about is value, um, servicing and give a little bit more. It's nothing wrong with going the extra mile because they'll remember that. Uh, what I did, I took it upon myself to give them what I learned as well. So I introduced them to coming on and, virtu and the, uh, speak virtually. And so... I wanted to close up my program by having live testimonies and everybody sharing their experience within my program. And I did that for the month of December. And at the end, I remember you, I think you came on, you came on. I was able, I, I came on, I was doing it through uh, the system Zoom, but I was live online and uh Dakisha was like, okay, so what do you have for them? And I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I was thinking about something, but what I was wanting to do was offer another program. But really, I didn't, I, I felt like that's not, that wasn't something I really wanted to do at that moment. So her suggestion was to do a one on one. And that's really where I want, wanted to be for just this three months, this period of time that I'm where I'm at right now. And I just took it to another level and I was bold enough and asked and someone opted right in that same night. I mean, like literally while I was saying it, I could see the text message coming across on my screen was like, I want to know just a little bit more and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and she was telling me exactly how much I should sell it. And because, you know, and, and I just, I just went with the flow. I just did exactly what she said and it's worked. That's what I want to say. I did exactly what she said and it is work because you don't realize people are looking for what we have. Um, they, they really are. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I have to say in front of everybody, I am so proud of you. I mean, we've known each other for, I don't know, maybe three, four years now. Mm -hmm. yep. So this is the first time that we actually had a chance to really work together. And so just to see, your progression and to see you use the blueprint and make it work for you. I, I must say, congratulations. Um, I'm, I'm just so proud of you and keep going. I mean, it's just a, it's a part where you just keep repeating the process. So I want to thank you for coming on and sharing your experience and your testimony. Is there any last words that you will have for anyone that may be on the fence about joining WSB? Do it. It, do it. I mean, it really, you, I, I have the, I have the proof. I have the proof. And, and I, I did, I met Dakisha about four years ago. And I remember her saying to me, uh, talking to me, it wasn't about the webinar, just saying I had a story to tell. And I didn't think that my story uh, could help people. And I started to hear it again and again. And I said, okay, there has to be something to this because I keep hearing my story, what I have to give. Someone needs to hear that. And I just want to encourage you today that so you do have something that someone else needs. And, you know, I, I thank God that you know about webinars and you perfect them for people like me that don't really didn't know how to use them and still going to come to you. I still would, you know, say, okay, there might be some things uh, like I do. I reach out to, I have reached out to you in between. So, you know, this is what I'm trying to do right now. I'm going to do another one. How can I make this work again? Um, I would say do it because you really do have something for them, but you need a system in place to help bring them into the space where it could be more private and you could really give them more of what you have. I, like she said, I've done Facebook lives. I do them all the time. I've just was doing one yesterday as well, um, twice in one day, but to have a specific topic and also to teach something different, show them something different, you do need a system in place. So the webinars is really um, a, a cool, great technique for, to help you do 
leverage your business and take it to another level. So um, I, I would say do it, opt in. And I'm really saying that. I'm not like she's not a paid person. Not paid. I'm just telling you from my own experience, do it. It's really good. I believe it really will help you. Once we master anything, you know, it becomes easy. Just be okay with just going through the learning process of doing your webinar. That's all. Fantastic. Well, you heard it yourself. You, you've seen her story throughout the week. And so you've heard it from Crystal herself about her journey and even some of the hiccups that she's experienced and was still able to be profitable from her, her, her dedication and the commitment to be better. So I just want to take it, take, I wanted to take a moment to come on and talk to you guys. I know it's the last hour, but I've had people reaching out to me, you know, and wanting to know more. And so here is, here is evidence that, and it's not about whether or not the system works. It's, will you work the system? So my name is Dakeisha Williams, your virtual COO, and I'll leave you with this. Be passionate, be purposeful, but more importantly, be profitable.